Do you ever feel like your home is lacking cohesion or harmony? Perhaps your living room furniture clashes with your kitchen decor or your bedroom feels disconnected from the rest of your house. When we don't have a clear vision for our entire home, it can be easy to end up with a disjointed space that feels a little off. If this sounds familiar, then you most likely need a clear vision for your home. I'm a big believer in dreaming something first. So you have to dream it before you can create it. Remember how we manifested our house? We had to dream it first. So let's have some fun today and create a whole house vision. It will provide you with direction. It will help you to visualize the feelings you want to create and keep you on track as you make decisions on decor and furniture. So here are the five steps to creating your own whole house vision. Step number one, how do you want it to feel? The first step in creating a cohesive home is to decide on the feelings you want to create. Do you want a cozy and warm home or a bright and airy space? Do you want your home to feel calm and serene or energetic and vibrant? So here are some examples of the overall feelings that I want to create inside of my own home. I want it to feel joyful. I want it to be colorful and have a bit of a dramatic flair. I want it to feel safe, welcoming. I want people to feel understood and really be able to lean into who they are. Once you've decided on your overall house feelings, you can get more specific and think about each room in your home and how you want it to feel. For example, you may want your bedroom to feel peaceful and relaxing, while your living room may be more social and inviting. So here are a few examples from my own house of the feelings I want in each room. In my entry, I want it to feel cheerful, ordered, and like a warm hug. In our piano room, I want to tell people that we follow Christ, but also that everyone is welcome here. In our dining room, I want it to feel lively, cozy, and inspired by nature. In our family room, comfortable, quirky, and abundant. And then in the den, it's my husband's face, a little more masculine and moody. Step two, look for inspirational images. The next step is to start looking for inspiration. So browse home decor magazines, Pinterest boards, and Instagram accounts to find images that resonate with you. Look for images that represent the overall feeling you want for your home, as well as specific design elements that you love. Save these images to a folder on your computer or a physical inspiration board, and be sure to take note of any patterns in your personal style that are emerging. Step three is to choose a whole house color scheme. So choosing a color scheme for your entire home is an important step in creating a cohesive de design. Consider the colors that you're naturally drawn to and think about how you can incorporate these colors into each room inside your home. You may want to choose a neutral base color and then add pops of color on top of that, or you can have more saturated color throughout your home. Just keep in mind that your overall color palette should have similar undertones. So like bright and clear colors paired together or more grayed out and softer colors together. Step four is to choose five to 10 pictures that represent your dream home visually. So now that you have a general idea of the feeling you want for your home and a color scheme to work with, it's time to choose specific images that represent your dream home. So choose five to 10 images that resonate with you and that represent the overall feeling you want to create inside your home. Step five is to put it all together into one mood board. So a mood board is a visual reminder about the decisions you've already made for your home. It's one place where you put all of these things together so that you can see the feelings, the color palette, and the inspiration images all in one place at a single glance. You can create a mood board the old fashioned way by cutting and pasting images onto a poster board or a notebook, or it can use a digital platform like Canva to create a mood board. Here's one that I created for my own home. It has all the different things we've talked about here. Pretty cool, right? 
Once you've created your whole house vision, you'll have a quick reference guide to making decisions about decorating your home. So this mood board will be like your North Star. It will help you stay on track in creating a home with the feelings and the colors that are important to you. And it'll help you to design a space that feels cohesive and full of harmony. If you enjoyed this post, you'll love my Joyful Room Workbook. It's a step-by-step -step guide to refreshing your interior space, and you can get your free copy by clicking below. Happy decorating, best of luck on creating your own whole house vision, and I can't wait to see it. Bye for now.